Number one, you want to simplify and put it into radical notation. So if I want to put it into radical notation, I want to change it to look like this. This is a radical. But before we do that, first reduce the fraction. So 6 over 20, what goes into both 6 and 20? 2. That would be 3 and 10. Then you're going to put it in a radical. And we look at that, we go, OK, we have a 3 and a 10. Either the 3 or 10 is going to be out here. The x is going to be in here. We've got to figure out which one goes on the outside. And remember, root, this is called your root, it's a blank root of x. And roots are on the bottom of plants. So the bottom number is your root. So the 10 goes there. The bottom number, the denominator, is always your root. That number just goes inside. That is radical notation. All right, next one. We need to change it to rational exponent notation. That means change it to this one. First thing we do is we have to change this to fraction power. So it's either 4 6 or 6 fourths. And remember, the root is the bottom of plants. The 6 goes on top then. And if you'll miss it if you don't reduce fractions. And almost always, I make them so you reduce. So we, we reduce this. We get 2 goes into both those. So it's going to be 3 over 2. There's your answer. The last one is you look at this. You look at the inside piece right here. And you think, OK, what squared or cubed or something, squared cubed fourth power, makes that? And you would hopefully notice this is 5 squared. And that's a negative 3 over 2 power. From there, you do the properties of exponents, which when you take a power to another power, you multiply. So when you take a power to another power, what's going to happen is you're going to get 2 times negative 3 over 2. We're multiplying the powers here. And when you do that, you have to realize this is like over 1. And so that's negative 6 over 2. Negative 6 divided by 2 is negative 3. But I actually don't even look at it that way. You could do it. Negative 6 over 2 is negative 3. I just go, oh, let's cancel. And so I now have 5 to the negative third power. OK. Next step is we're not allowed negative powers. So we drop it. Negative powers, according to our properties, Drop to the denominator. So we now have 1 over 5 to the third. And since that is something we technically should know, I want you to keep going. And usually I'll make them so you should be able to figure that one out. So that's going to be 1 over 125. That is your answer. You are For this last problem, you're looking for a, either a fraction or a number of some sort. Um, that you should be able to break it down. These are just changing the form.